Okay, so here's the uh, results of the tri-blade and quad-blade uh, static thrust test. Um, first here we have the Team Racecraft uh, 5051 by 3 is a recent prop that uh, was uh, released by Team Racecraft. Uh, and uh, uh, thrust was kind of low at 12, uh, 1225 at 40 amps but uh, there's uh, of course we uh, we have to keep in mind that uh, Team Racecraft has said they uh, ha they actually designed this prop to for fast forward flight not for static thrust and that seems to be backed up by uh, a lot of videos out on YouTube already uh, showing this prop uh, flying at uh, upwards of 100 miles per hour so we we know that it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a fast prop uh, so in this case the uh, the thrust test results don't really uh, don't really don't really uh, relate well to to the actual performance so uh, so yeah this prop is quite fast and uh, some people like it some people don't like it so it's one of those props that you really have to fly yourself and 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 see how it see how it does and if it fits your flying style. Uh, next one is the uh, a recent another recent prop uh, from HQ, the S five fifty forty by three prop. Another one of those with the uh, funky tips. Uh, supposedly, I think those are made. Uh, those are put there to uh, to disrupt the vortices and improve uh, efficiency. Uh, so that reduces drag that the vortices cause uh, at the tips. Uh, performance was low at 1229. Uh, I've read comments of some people that they, they really don't like the way it flies, uh, but I haven't fly, fly it myself, so that's hearsay. Uh, next one is uh, Gen Fan 5040x3. The first one of uh, on this chart of the 5040 by 3 clones, um, Genfan uh, probably has the lowest pitch of all, so uh, it uh, it gets the less thrust, but then also pretty efficient. I mean, it only it's one of the lowest uh, amp draws. So, so if you're looking for a prop that's not gonna punish your batteries and it and it's it's gonna fly pretty well um, uh, this is a good prop to, to have I like I like the way it flies though the first batch the ones I tried the materials a little bit brittle so it'll it'll shatter if you hit like a, a branch or you know if you have a ground strike it'll it'll break but other than that it's a it's a really good prop uh, then we have the DYS props. Uh, the these are quite affordable uh, and they do pretty well. Uh, with the new version, the transparent one, they it's uh, it seems that they have uh, fixed the one issue they had. One of the props uh, blades had a little bulge, so that was causing some uh, vibration on some on some setups. But it seems they they fixed that issue, so. So the YS came out with these uh, transparent props. Uh, they they work pretty pretty good. Uh, next, uh, another very affordable prop is the uh, King Kong 5040x3. Another one of the clones. This one actually is a clone of the Gen Fan, and it also has the uh, thin hub, which uh, in some cases you have to use a a washer so that your prop can clamp on the on the hub. Uh, Otherwise, uh, because uh, it, it sits below the thread, so uh, so you run out basically run out of thread, and you can't the nut can clamp on the hub. So the next one is the Lumineer Butter Cutter 5050 by three. Uh, pretty good thrust. The uh, amps are a little bit on the high side. Uh, this is a new prop from Lumineer. Uh, I did. Uh, fly with it and and I I liked it I liked the way it, it flew it, it uh, was pretty responsive and actually pretty fast 
on full throttle. I uh, didn't notice much the, uh, the difference in flight times. It, it does draw a lot of amps, but again, I couldn't I couldn't tell much of a difference. Uh, uh, perhaps you know my flying style doesn't really uh, tax on the on the battery. Uh, probably uh, other pilots that are always full on the throttle, uh, they'll they'll feel the difference. They'll notice the difference. So next one is the Team Racecraft 5040 by 3 another one of the clones. Uh, this one pretty pretty good, pretty good material. Uh, price is pretty reasonable. Uh, same as the DAL 5040 x 3 V2. Uh, a lot of people fly this one, they like it. Uh, pretty good material. Price is one of the best. Uh, Diatone 5040 x 3. This prop I found it at Hobby King. I was curious to see how it it performs so I ordered a few sets and I, I actually quite liked it a lot it, it was very durable uh, pretty good balance and thrust was pretty good actually uh, uh, one of the one of the most efficient uh, 5040s that I that I've used uh, so yeah overall I like this prop I, I actually ended up ordering a whole bunch more and I've been using this one a lot uh, then the next one is the uh, HQ 5040 x 3 uh, this is uh, probably the best prop on the 5040 x 3 uh, uh, class uh, and uh, it makes pretty good thrust and a lot of the top ace pilots it's, uh, it's their go to prop they know that if they use this one they'll get smooth video uh, but then it, uh, it costs a little bit more than the other one so but yeah, if you want the best prop, uh, you just pay a little bit more. Uh, next one is one of the uh, our first heavy props on the chart right here. Uh, this one's the DAL 5045x3V2. Uh, good thrust. Uh, amperage is, is reasonable. But uh, it's it, it's a little bit heavy prop. So some pilots may notice that uh, there is not as responsive as the lighter props. So, you know, that depends on your flying style. Next prop is the uh, DAL Cyclone 5045x3. Uh, this one is new from DAL. A lot of people have commented that they like they like it. I haven't flown it yet, haven't had time. Uh, but it, it probably does look pretty strong, like it could survive uh, lots of crashes. A Li little bit heavy, not as heavy as the uh, 5045 by 3v2, uh, but it does seem like it, it it'll do well on crashes. And people that flown it, they they like it. So apparently, it's pretty responsive. Next one's not a not a common prop. Uh, TJ 5045 by 3 uh, does get uh, some pretty good thrust, 1360. I bought it, wanted to fly just to see how it flies, but I again I never got around to it uh, next one is the Lumineer 5040x3 this one uh, came out a, lo a while back but uh, they use some really really bad material it was really brittle so it would just break uh, pretty easily and it w they were expensive but uh, it, uh, they actually did well on the on the test and I, and people that flew it said they the flying flight characteristics were, were pretty good but uh, they were just too expensive and too easy to, to crack uh, but um, GetFPV has mentioned that they they upgraded the material to the same one as the butter cutter so that, that's good news uh, so I'll, I'll have to I'll have to get a set of these ones and try them uh, in flight uh, people that flew it like I said they they said they like it uh, next one is the Gen Fan 5050x3. This this prop is actually quite quite heavy. Uh, not a lot of people use this one. Uh, it does make a lot of thrust, uh, although amps are high, but it, it it just feels too heavy. Like it would it would be kind of slow in response. Uh, and then the last of the uh, three blade props. It's, it's one of the most inefficient props. But it makes the most thrust. Uh, it's the 5045 uh, BN, the bullnose. 
a lot of throws, a lot of amps. Uh, I think some people use it. Um, I actually have never used it, so uh, I'm just, just you know, just don't want to trash my batteries. Uh, uh, next one is one of the first of the quad blades, uh, DYS 50, uh, 5040 x 4. Uh, one of the first on the chart here. Uh, pretty good thrust, uh, 1352, 36 amps. Uh, all these quad blades are quite close in performance. Next one is the HQ 1363, 38 amps. Uh, they're all pretty much pretty similar. Uh, 1390 for the team racecraft. Uh, you know, slightly better. Uh, uh, the, this DYS, this new one, did actually actually did quite good. Uh, uh, this is the transparent one, uh, and then uh, the Lumineer 5040x4. Uh, this is uh, one of the same as the tri blade uh, with the brittle material, but that, that is supposed to have been upgraded. Uh, so hopefully they also upgraded this one because it, it did pretty good uh, and people that flew it also said uh, they liked it this one is the oh the DAL the DAL actually is one of the best uh, quad blades actually uh, uh, 1417 or 38 amps uh, the DAL 5040 all these are kind of clones but as you can see the, there are some slight differences and last I threw in was this HQ 5040x6 which uh, I don't know of anybody that's using this one uh, uh, somewhat high thrust uh, at high amperage uh, does sound pretty cool uh, the m noise it makes but it's it's uh, it's one of the most uh, inefficient and it probably just goes through the battery quite fast and the other prop I tested was the DYS 5042x3 it's kind of a clone of the Shoif Draft 5042 or I don't know if DYS made it first or who made it first but uh, the early comments that I've seen on it is that uh, the prop is a little bit slow uh, and it's uh, it does feel a little bit heavy but it does look quite strong but I could it'll survive uh, crashes pretty well I haven't flown it but uh, people are saying that it's it's kind of slow so so that's it that's the uh, overview of the test a little bit a little bit long uh, there were a lot of props to talk about I try to make it as fast as I could uh, uh, so overall I mean uh, a lot of the props are pretty good a lot of good choices and the the 5040s pretty much all are pretty good uh, uh, some are a little bit better than others but uh, uh, it's good we have a lot of choices affordable choices uh, so anyway I uh, hope you find the data useful and thanks for watching